அரசிய நானாஞ்சன சலக்க சக்சூர் உண்மித்தம் என தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீ குருவே நமக டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் எ வெரி பியூட்டிஃபுல் சூத்ரா ஃப்ரம் பதஞ்சலி யோக சூத்ராஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஃபஸ்ட் சாப்டர் சமாதி பாதா சூத்ரா நம்பர் நைன்டீன் லெட்ஸ் ரிப்பீட் திஸ் சூத்ரா எலாங் வித் மீ பாவ பிரத்யோ விதேக பிரத்ரிகிலயானம் பாவ பிரத்யய விதேக பிரகிருதி லயானம் பாவ பாவ பிரத்யய விதேக பிரகிருதி லயானம் ஹியர் பாவ பிரத்யய மீன்ஸ் த காஸ் ஃபார் விச் சம்திங் இஸ் பார்ன் அகெயின் வி கால் இட் அஸ் ரீபர்த் இட்ஸ் அ சோர்ஸ் பாபா மீன்ஸ் அ சோர்ஸ் and pratyaya means the the notion the ground so it's a rebirth the bhava pratyaya means rebirth so videhas or the bodiless bodiless discarnate beings the highest forms so we can call as devas the formless form of devas prakriti layana means those who measuring prakriti or nature so this is translated yes of those yogi who being disincarnate are absorbed into nature which is the intention of becoming the among the videgas and prakriti layas lies the cause of existence so here we are seeing the samrajna the samadhi and asamprajna samadhi in samrajna samadhi the buried seeds the of this yes that is bija can still come into the conscious mind given the proper opportunity because of the presence of habitually patterned subconscious impressions samskaras in one's consciousness so if you die before attaining the highest state of asam prajna the samadhi a state of cognitive absorption undistinguished by any support they go on to become the formless higher beings here it is uh, mentioned as videhas the devas these higher beings devas who can be the controllers of the nature such as the angels are deities who control different lokas these formless beings are human beings who have evolved and learned to control nature and by their control earn the enjoyment of certain pleasures in the higher heavenly realms but they cannot completely liberated from this limiting desires and attachments unless they are reborn as humans and work through the desire seeds here so here it's beautifully mentioned in this sutra the coming and going will continue until all desire seeds are completely burnt and they completely know themselves the freedom from desire comes from clearly understanding one's nature and then letting go of attachment to the fulfillment of the desires in this sutra Here we are uh, again getting into the sutra videha laya and prakriti laya the videha laya is the higher deva the being higher devi devas the, the the being prakriti layas are those who become absorbed in the nature the prakriti bhava pratyaya is rebirth because of the attached samskaras right is seen in the previous sutra how the subtle impression is causing rebirths to happen because of the attached impression which is taking over as a karma so the process of becoming the kaivalya is the ultimate goal of yoga while we are the travel of achieving that kaivalya that is union with shiva when the death is and count when we when, when we are because we are in a manishya body at any time death might come according to the karmic bondage and the samskaras which we have 
when the death is been happening rudra will come remove the body and take care of the soul with him so once that soul is been taken away what is assigned to that soul is the is the samskaras so that is the cause of the rebirth that is bhava pratyaya so the mind uh, without vritti and the mind with only samskaras so here we are separating uh, this being once the soul is being separated from the body here patanjali magrish is bringing out that that karmic beings the stage which they are achieving in the process of becoming kaivalya the process is been stopped but they are taking two different paths when they are died they have possibility of becoming two different identities in the higher beings one is videhalaya that is uh, discarnate devas and another is prakritalaya they will become observed with prakriti so uh, this is very very important sutra we have also uh, understand that uh, when we get into the deep deep dive into the learnings uh, in the bhagavatam or in the upanishads or in uh, different uh, uh, vedic scriptures we have noticed uh, that videha and prakritalaya are the heavenly bodies they are different from other kinds of gods residing in the upper regions like heavens from swarga loga until satya loga until brahma loga because the videha and prakritalaya reside in none of these regions it may be noticed here that gods in upper regions are progressively excellent in point of longevity supernatural powers enjoyments and insights gods in swarga loga live for a kalpa they adopt body out of sweet will are charged with extraordinary powers and enjoy all kinds of material pleasures but with less insight okay in mahar loga the higher beings will get a body where they master all the five elements panchabhutas they can live for thousands of kalpas and are given to contemplation in jana loga the they get a body where the control extends to the sense organs and in tapa loga to the five subtle elements also in mahar loga the food for gods of jana loga and tapa loga is contemplation in satya loga when they get a body they excels all these regions they excels the whole gamut of insights as come, come that comes under sampragnala samadhi forces by a kind of asampragnala the videha and the prakritalaya are clearly distinct from the gods residing in the different region within the pale of sampragnala samadhi so so according to the samkhya yoga philosophy from prakriti to the five gross elements comes under non purusha stage non soul stage of these the five gross elements and the eleven sense organs are effects only and as such they are called as vikrutis prakriti mahat ahankara and the five tanmantras on the other hand is called as prakritis because they are the causes prakriti is the cause of mahat magat is a cause of ahankara like that yeah, to tanmantras like that or one may mistake any of this prakriti as one source both of these types after they are death both of these types when they are died they become rid of the gross physical form with gross videha both of them therefore may be called videhas yet the term videha is confined to a higher being who mistake any of the vritti vikrutis for his soul so the term prakritilaya on the other hand refers to a yogis who takes any of the prakritis as his soul so these two types videha layas they take vik- vikrutis for, for the soul the prakritilaya they take prakriti for the soul the terms videha and prakritilaya becomes applicable to the respective yogis only after they have having left the gross physical form 
व्यधतया विदेह योगी और प्रकृति योगी प्रकृति लया योगी दे मेजर्स इनटू ए द विकृति और द प्रकृति व्हिच दे हैव मिस्टेकन फॉर द सोल दिस मर्जर इज फॉलोड बाय प्रोलॉंग्ड स्टूपर मार्क्ड बाय लॉस ऑफ ऑल कॉन्शियसनेस characterized by the cessation of all mental modes this state bears the resemblance to asampragnata samadhi such state is called bhava pratyaya because it is generating pratyu by ignorance or misconception the rebirth is happening because of ignorance or misconception so the bhava pratyaya nirodha does not lead to the kaivalya on the contrary the mind lapses into empirical existence for the realization of the desire of pleasure and pain lying dormant in the mind during the period of stupor then yogi merging into a sense organ stays therein for 10 manvantras a yogi merging into an element they stay there for 100 manvantras when a yogi merging into hangara they stay for 1000 manvantras manvantras is like uh, the the measurement of the uh, time okay uh, it's more than thousands and thousands of years when a yogi is merging into the puti the mind they can stay there for 10000 manvantras like that if a yogi is merging in prakriti they can stay that there for more than 100000 manvantras that is the reason when a subtle impression which is that which is which we call as karmic reservoir here it's been attached to the soul and the, when the soul is leaving the body depends upon the punya the impressions they get a body where the body according to the capacity they are getting the body which could handle this thousands and thousands of years they are getting it as a punya for them so until from indra to different demigods until brahma the 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 according to the karmic influence they are getting that body to exhaust our karma it is been attached to the soul when we leave that body so while you practice this um, samadhi practice samadhi level kaivalya practices kriya yoga practices either at any point at time when we have an instant that we are dying here patanjali is mentioning we will get either the higher bodies according to the capacity of the merging that is been happening capacity of the merging of the level of merging happening if we are merging to the prakriti itself completely merging to the prakriti the whole cosmic egg we will get a body of brahma so it's a beautiful sutra so it's like having spent period as a penance for the complacency of a misconception a person a yogi start his life very new on this cosmos leading to this life the bhava pratyaya samadhi a person a yogi cannot be be in the operation of chitta for a very long time until they exhaust their pleasures until the pleasures the punya has been exhausted they need to stay in that body so while staying in this body also there is a fall indicated if you are if you are not practicing from the stage where we are then we will again lose to the lower planets even now when we reach the brahma stage also the fall is compulsory we can't able to escape that so kriya yoga or the process of yogic practices is not only for manasa even when we reach that higher being also we need to practice this until we achieve kaivalya kaivalya is getting in union with shiva the ishvara so 
the it is like an illusion we are so all the, the liberation process is by itself an illusion the maya the power of devi so so there is a fall after that stage so that life on earth does not begin in you but on the basis of spiritual merits occurred before undergoing the bhava pratyaya samadhi this clearly means that videha pratyaya prakriti laya is on the road to the kaivalya but only temporarily interrupted interrupted or temporarily hindered by the state of senselessness or ignorance so bhava pratyaya has a special uh, asampragnatasana special privilege of getting asampragnata samadhi very easily when they get the body videha body they are, they are starting their uh, path of relation with asampragnata level of understanding that intellect function is independent of any physical form the but in pralaya uh, as well as yes, during creation their mind is subsumed in nirodha state so they have a nirodha mindset when when they are completely absorbed in the brahma body or higher being body we already in a state of nirodha it's easy for that stage to use that uh, being to go to the kaivalya it's very close so it is becoming a birthright for that being uh, very easily they can uh, achieve that that is why nirodha is called bhava pratyaya they enjoy an extraordinary majesty and they enjoy the fruits which has been got as part of this karmic uh, actions that so in presence so definitely they have a chance to achieve kaivalya in the subsequent birth and to become a bhairava becoming ishvara is very easy but the prakritlayas on the other hand who are worshippers of god are becoming are the deities of prakriti having left their physical form and they have the subtle form they penetrate in the cosmic egg which is brahmanda and they merge in this prakriti with viveka khyati with the kaivalya enlightenment they they their mind is fastened to duty to provide for pleasure or release in flavor of the purusha in flavor of the purusha the pratilayas are awaken from the state of merger into prakriti like videgas prakriti also they, they have the power to merge into prakriti they adopt a physical form so the above mission of the mind can be fulfilled that's why we are seeing many incarnation that is taking in this year like ramakrishna paramahamsa or uh, the godly uh, like ramana magrisi and those uh, they when they in, even at the young age they are getting the they are starting from where they are left they are getting a prakriti laya bodies so the, we can see the yogis and the siddha purushas uh, even in this present uh, only earth uh, buloga uh, they start from where they left okay one uh, videhas are by nature and the other is by penetration by nature by that means they are getting lot of manvantras uh, years of manvanta getting the brahma body because of the nature of the karmic reservoir that is their soul they are getting the body of brahma by nature and the other is by penetration okay, merging with the prakriti so both of these videhas and prakriti layas are on the road to the achieving kaivalya in the case of one the prarabdha karma is getting exhausted and in the case of other the mind discharges its duty prakriti layas are not worshippers of prakriti but worshippers of the deity of prakriti thus being the worshippers of the two they are naturally entitled to get liberated or get kaivalya the the videhas are enlightened being but only bidding time for the exhaustion of prarabdha karma the prakriti layas are yet to achieve the kaivalya so 
Videhas are on the road to Kaivalya. They have the very easy process to achieve Kaivalya in a very small steps. They are enlightened beings. They are Devas. Gods who are residing in higher beings, higher Lokas, are as much as bondage as we are. Being plunged in ignorance like us. The concept of deity of Prakriti, the deity of Magath, is applicable to all the beings, including Manishya to the other higher beings also. So, we need to understand and we need to understand the very important factors from this Sutra. That is a very good news that Padanjali Magari is in Sari. Even though there is an end to this body, and we are demotivated that any time the death might come, we should not be demotivated. We should take this sutra and read because this sutra, Pandri Magarasi, is revealing a very important factor here. A yogi who is practicing can become two beings, Videha or Prakritilayas. This two being has a power to begin from where, where he had left the body. So the process of like, let's say we are leaving the body at a stage of Nirodha Samadhi or Samprakshana Samadhi stage. So when he is getting a body, he is getting a Brahma with the realization of that state. He can easily get into the state. That's very easy to climb to the Sunyata state to get in union with uh, Iswara. Same thing applicable to Pratyalaya, like Prakritilayas, where he will incarnate as a Siddha Purusas, like Ramana Magresiya, Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, and they could be able to achieve Kaivalya with the limited time period, they will finish the work and they will get liberated. That's why we see a lot of Siddha Purusas, including Swami Vivekananda, uh, Ramana Magarasi. Uh, they exhaust their karma with the body and they achieve uh, Kaivalya to the next state. So, please repeat this sutra along with me, meditate on this sutra continuously. Understand the power of the Sutra. Bhava Pratyaya Videha Prakriti Layanam Bhava Pratyaya Videha Prakriti Layanam So, thank you very much for choosing Vedic folks and joining me today as we explored the profound teachings of Parandali Yoga Sutras, very important sutra, sutra number 90. Remember, the path of yoga is a continuous journey of self-discovery and continuous transformation. Please be connected to this Vedic Foods channel and get more insight, more discussions of future sutras and empower yourself and get self-realization. Thank you. Om Tatsat. Om Tatsat. Om Tatsat. Please subscribe to our Vedi Books YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon.